Welcome back. Today we're going to go over how to create a timestamp in Excel. Uh, normally you would use some sort of VBA program or coding, um, but today we're going to show it just how to do it a uh, quick and dirty way using just the formulas you have in Microsoft 365. So I've, I've got a worksheet pulled up here and there are two formulas you can use to kick this off. You can use the now formula and the now formula just brings up the current date and time. I hit enter. Now if it ever does this right here with these hashtags, uh, it just means that the cell is uh, not wide enough to accommodate the numbers that are in there. So I'll just double click here between the H and the I and it'll widen that out for me. And now we have the date and the time. So that's one option. The other option is using the today formula. And the today formula, all it does is bring up the current date. Um, so if you just need to do the date, you could do that. Uh, but for our purposes, we want the time and the date. So I'm just gonna, you know, clear that out. And so what do you? So what you do is when you have that formula placed in there, and let's say um, I want a timestamp. Uh, let's say time completed. I want to mark down whenever um, a task has been completed. Now, whatever cell you want the timestamp in, you select. Go over to our Data tab. From Data, we're going to go over to Data Tools, and we're going to hit uh, Data Validation. Now, if you've ever watched our video on how to make a drop-down list, um, this is the same thing. You're going to create a drop-down list. If, you've never, if you don't know how to do that, I will put that video in the comment section. and It goes over you know, what all these tabs mean and how to make one. Uh, but for our, our uh, purposes today, um, this will be enough. Uh, but again, if you're interested in that video, please check in the description. But you're going to, again, select the cell that you want um, this time set to be in, data tools, data validation, and then once it brings this window up, you're going to go to list. You're going to click source, and the source is going to be the cell where your now formula is in. Then hit OK. And what we see is a drop down menu has been formed. So I'm going to click it, click it again, and now we see this crazy looking number pops up, right? Well, all that means it has been formatted. So I'm going to click our J column, go over to our Home tab, and go over here to, num to the number area, and instead of General, I'm going to put in Time. And that formats it for us um, as, a, as a readable time and that just random number. And so we see that it's 3.01 um, p.m. And we see that this number here is actually slightly different. This is military time. but um, So that's actually 3.02. This number here is going to change. This number is not. The only way to get this number to update is if you go back to the drop down, click it again, and then updates automatically for you. I can get this to read um, time as well. There you go. So now we see that this number here is slightly ahead of this number. Um, and again, it'll only change if you click it, and then hit the drop down again, and then it'll update for you. Um, I recommend clicking this, and then just hitting enter, double click and enter, just to make sure that time is, is up to date um, before you select the drop down. So that's how you do the timestamp, and of course you can just, let me clear this out first, you can grab it and drag it down as many. Say I had some names here. You can just grab it and drag it down. And you can select the times. Maybe it's employees walking in. You can keep selecting different times. They come in and they will not change. If you want to submit these, what I would do is click it again. Go to data validation again. Click yes. And then go to any value. And now it removes the drop down but it leaves the number. So you always will have those numbers in there and you won't accidentally change it uh, by clicking the drop down menu. So let's put this into practice. So I've created us a example timesheet. We have our employees' names, their ID numbers, the department they work in, and the time that they were in and out, and the hours that they worked. Um, so as employees are coming in, you can go in here and just start marking the times. Um, you know, Dave, Dave got in at 318, Lily got in at 319, and you know, so on. And then as they're leaving, you can do the same thing and put in the times um, that they left. And what you can do is you can put a formula in here where it subtracts 
the two, di the two times, times they were in and times they were out, and calculates the hours they've worked. And the way you want to do that is when dealing with times, do it times 24, and then format these as a whole number. And using conditional formatting, so let, let's say I have someone coming in at 3 o'clock, and let's say they're only supposed to work 8 hours, but they worked 9 hours, so they leave at 12. Thanks to conditional formatting, um, I have it set up where you know, every time someone's in overtime, it highlights it for me. So that way you can keep track of who's working overtime, um, who's here longer than they should be, um, and you know, making sure everyone gets the, the fair amount of pay. So just another cool trick you can do with Excel. And we actually have a video on conditional formatting, which I will link below. Um, check that out if you're curious about how to do conditional formatting and how to get that to work. Um, another quick note before I leave you. So um, you see I have the current time listed up here. If you didn't want the current time shown, what you can do is, let's say I want to put my timestamp here. I can go over to data validation. I can, I can put this time on a separate sheet, sheet three, for example. Go over here, go to data validation, go to list. And when I go to source, I can actually go to sheet three, select it, then hit OK. And now I have the, that, uh, that, that time there, even though it isn't on the same sheet. And so I can hide this sheet. And even though it's hidden, it still shows me um, the current time and the timestamp. So again, just another uh, thing you can do to make your, uh, just to move your, your spreadsheets up to that next level. And that's it for this video. As always, please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. We do read your comments and we do respond to them in a timely manner. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. We'll get to them. I may even make a whole video on them. You never know. But as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for being here, and we hope that you have a great day. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. Now before you go, how would you like to get free access to tons of Excel content that is designed to help make your life easier and your business better? Free Excel tutorials, Excel PDF guides, mini courses, and even a book I'm writing right now. Well, if you don't wanna miss out on those opportunities, make sure you check out the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification icon so that you can stay up to date on all the stuff we're doing here on YouTube. Oh, and by the way, my name is Colton Coffin, and I am the founder and CEO here at Custom Excel Spreadsheets, where we help business owners and professionals get more done using tools that do exactly what they need. We help you get organized and automate tasks that save you time and money, and build collaborative tools that allow your team to perform and to engage at a higher level. And we also create some awesome visualizations that just bring your data to life and help it to tell a story that is meaningful and compelling. So I look forward to serving you with more content in the future, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.